Immaculate is a psychological horror put out by Neon starring Sidney Sweeney. And over the past years, I've really learned to appreciate horror, as long as it's good, right? And this seemed like an interesting movie. Neon always puts out uh, very provocative movies in many ways. And so I was like, okay, um, you know, let's see this. And Sydney Sweeney, it, it felt like a little bit of a swing for her. So, uh, you know, I was like, let's check this out. And, you know, in, in summary, kind of certainly in like online spaces, it's known as uh, the movie where Sydney Sweeney plays a nun, right? And that's kind of what it is, right? So she's this nun who goes to Italy to join this covenant. And um, as the title implies, there's an immaculate conception. You know, she has a vow of chastity and yet somehow she finds herself pregnant. How did this happen? Where that leads and so forth, that is the real crux of it, right? And it's, uh, it's haunting in many ways, right? Uh, it's really... Like it, it plays on your instincts and, and, and kind of it's, it's got a good blend of physical horror as well as psychological horror, um, you know, the emotional pain that uh, some of these characters might be going through. And it's led by Sydney Sweeney. And I have to say, like, in this sense, she's a tour de force. Um, she really shows kind of what she's capable of. Um, so I, I really appreciated that. Um, it reunites her. It was directed by uh, the director who's done a lot of the episodes of Everything Sucks, which is uh, the show um, on Netflix that I absolutely love that got canceled after season one. Uh, and I say that because Sydney Sweeney is uh, on that show. You know, she's one of the main characters. And so it's cool that uh, she continues to work with um, the same director because they also did Voyeurs together. So it seems like there's a lot of trust between them. And yeah, I mean, the, the, the combination of them to work together and uh, the rest of the cast uh, really helps fill it out, give, you know, life to, to these characters. And it's, it's a chilling experience. It really is. You know, it, it will leave you uh, feeling something, certainly. Um, the ending is it is evocative right and you know uh, i'm curious especially like what you take the ending for you know do are you, are you not are you satisfied or are you not but um you know I, I think in many ways it could be a little bit decisive um you know especially a lot of this plays out on religion right you know um and so it plays into those various things and um you know not that it asks you questions. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of a hyper-realized world um, in many ways. I mean, um, uh, there's there's one thing I could say, uh, compare it to uh, movie-wise, that would kind of spoil where it's going, so I won't do that. But, um, but yeah, it was, it was, it was very intriguing. Um, and I just, I don't know, I, I, I was captivated and, and hooked. Um you know, from the get-go, so, you know, uh, just just a, a really wonderful movie, you know, in terms of the horror genre, right, like, it'll make your skin crawl in many ways, and that's what you kind of want, right, and it doesn't have to employ those jump scares, like, it works truly on a psychological level, um, and I appreciate it for that, so for all those reasons, you know, I highly recommend seeing Immaculate when you get the chance. And if and when you do, let me know your thoughts, and especially would love to talk spoilers. Um, just, you know, please denote that as such in the comments so that way we don't uh, spoil it for people who haven't yet seen it, right? So thank you so much, and uh, look forward to your thoughts.